The pandemic has upended pretty much every aspect of life, including the traditional summer vacation and the class of 2020 college students with their job search. And for those companies reopening their offices, the job place and space will look very different. A new survey by Robert Half has uh, some interesting findings. Back with us is Aaron Sullivan with the details. Welcome, Aaron. It's good to see you again. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me this morning. And so let's start with the vacations. Uh, the survey says that a lot of people are not taking their vacations this summer. Why? About 37% are just really pushing their vacations to later in the year because probably their travel plans have got canceled or displaced. Um, about 20 Eight percent are just saying, you know, we'll take more days off or we'll take less days off than last summer just because they are feeling a demand to be at work based on the needs. A lot of companies had a downsize. So employees who are still working just feel it's important for them to be there throughout the day, every day. Are some people feeling they don't want to take the vacation because they fear that they may be let go? I don't necessarily think it's a fear of being let go at this point, but it is a little bit of just feeling the crunch and the responsibility to be there for the team. But it is also a little bit of feedback from what they're seeing from their managers. Um, part of that survey that we did talked about how 66% of employees have not had any response from their managers at all, encouraging them to take time off or discouraging to them to take time off. And I think without managers saying it's okay, we're all feeling this struggle, we're all feeling the pressure of this pandemic, I think employees are a little nervous to take that time off without the encouragement of their managers. Because you can understand that the employee probably feels, well, if everybody else is working and there may be some people that are furloughed, they may feel guilty about taking that time. Oh, absolutely. I think a lot of people feel, well, I'm here. I'm fortunate to have a job and be able to work through this. So I do want to stay here. But also vacations are a little different. A lot of parents with young kids right now have been at home working and taking care of their kids that even time off right now might feel a little different. Some people want time off just to have some self-care, not necessarily a vacation. Let's talk about the class of 2020. And they've just graduated, especially the college students. They're looking for that first job. Who is hiring? What are they looking for? Are they looking for the skills that most college students have at this point? Yeah, I definitely think college students have will have to be a little bit more flexible, these uh, new grads maybe changing what industries they're looking to go into. We know that healthcare has had a huge uh, boom with the pandemic, as well as technology and manufacturing. So maybe switching what skills do you have, but to go into an industry that is thriving. But quite honestly, this generation has been fortunate to be brought up in technology. So really, they have a great opportunity to showcase their skill set since we've all had to learn how to work remote and operate more remote and use technology more than we have in the past. And they will have to use technology in that job search, certainly. In-person interviews will probably be limited. Oh, absolutely. We're seeing so many of our initial interviews with companies be remote and it's really important we're probably all used to facetiming with our friends or family but um getting comfortable with the applications that are used nowadays like zoom and skype and testing them out is your lighting good are is the appropriate you know what they're seeing looking good do you have anything in the background is your volume okay test all of those things ahead of time with a friend so that you feel comfortable going into those interviews and will really highlight yourself appropriately during that video interview all right let's talk about some of the businesses that are now reopening and bringing workers back to the office space that certainly has changed even some companies still haven't opened up. A lot of hotels here locally are slowly starting to open up, but with limited capacity. And I think it's, you know, communicating with your employees, seeing who's ready to go back to work. We have to be mindful that some employees do not yet feel comfortable going to work and we have to respect that. But being able to open up and keep that appropriate social distancing is very important while we come back to getting to a new normal slowly. All right. Well, Aaron, thank you for the help today. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And stay right there. We'll be right back.